The Seminole County Centennial Bus has been designed to highlight the five points of pride that we've chosen to celebrate throughout our centennial. Agriculture, historic preservation, quality of life, transportation, and education. Lake Howell High School students were chosen because they had won quite a few awards at the Lake Mary Heathrow Festival of the Arts. And we felt like this was a wonderful way to honor them and to continue to highlight the work that they've done. Representatives from Lynx visited the school to brainstorm the different ideas and possibilities that they were implementing this bus wrap. It was a little exciting actually. Um, you know, you have like, it's almost like free space where you can like draw whatever you want and just run amok. It just sounded like something that I would never be able to do any other time. It was actually really daunting and terrifying. The biggest challenge was getting together because we do live separate lives, so we do have to make points of meeting up with each other and putting all our work down next to each other and making decisions together as a group. What we've decided to do is have an orange being passed all the way around the bus, but it's just getting merging together so it all flows around. For the bus, which was an obvious, we did the inside of the bus. And it just seemed right because it was right where the bus driver's seat would be. We showed where the doors and the steps were. We left some pencil marks to create shading. And we used markers in a variety of colors to make different things stand out, like warm and cold colors. For quality of life, we did a park. We have a lake which we based off of either Wakaiba Spring and Red Bug Lake Park because it's local. It's the park we know the most. We did the entire thing in watercolor, but we left some of the pencil lines because it creates like an awesome effect of motion. We're doing that colored pencil for education. What we decided to do is we had teachers and students and they're being, the ones are being passed from the teacher all the way you know, to the next, I think we have historic preservation next to us. I had to do historical preservation. We came up with an Indian and then we decided to do two, and now it's like a guy and a girl. Sonoma County is really known for oranges. We talked about orange farmers and picking the oranges from the trees, how we wanted it to go around the corner sides of the bus and just have the tree going across. The Lynx bus was unveiled at a Board of County Commissioners meeting with local elected officials, representatives from the school board and the school district, and the students were there to be honored. Here at Lynx, we're fortunate enough to really move people, both from a transportation standpoint and from an emotional and artistic standpoint. It's better than I could imagine, but I knew that we could have done something nice like this, so I'm very proud of all of us. It just looks exactly how I made it, which is really, which I really like that. And being able to like get our stuff out there to people, for people to see, especially on a bus, I think it's amazing. It's awesome. And that's kind of like someone's dream to have the whole world see your artwork and, and have it on a bus and driving around is it's like a dream come true. It's really amazing and I'm so super proud of them and I couldn't be more happy. I think it's a good relationship between the community, between the business world and the education field and uh, anytime we get kids in the community working together it's a good thing. 